Congratulations on the purchase of your new Collar Crimp system, designed to assemble high quality Eaton Weatherhead hose and hose ends. In the field or in the shop, Collar Crimp systems save time, labor, and money. Eaton Weatherhead hose assemblies made with Collar Crimp feature high quality connections, ease of operation, faster assembly time, and low maintenance. You can make your own OEM quality custom hose assemblies with the Collar Crimp system at a fraction of the cost. There are a number of Collar Crimp models, and although there are some minor differences, they are essentially similar in design and operation. There are both stationary models and portable units. Let's begin with an overview of the machines and the components they all have in common. Each machine has a base plate, a platform at the bottom of the unit that holds the die ring. On some models, the die ring is incorporated into the base plate. On other units, the die ring rests on top of the base plate. Above the base plate is the pusher that is attached to the cylinder. The pusher on certain models is designed to slide for easy tooling access. Although the pushers on some models open and close and on other models are fixed, they all perform the same operation. The pusher is bolted to a piston inside the cylinder that provides the force necessary to perform the crimp. There is a series of collets that permit the crimping of a wide variety of hose types. They are inserted into the die ring and must be matched to the hose and hose end type being crimped. All collar crimp models provide a positive stop action that ensures a quality crimp time after time, assuming the correct tooling and hose ends have been selected for crimping weatherhead hose and hose ends. Most stationary collar crimp models use an electrically operated hydraulic pump that powers the press. These are single phase 220 volt pumps that must be used with a 15 amp breaker. Optional 110 volt pumps require a 30 amp dedicated circuit and cannot be used with an extension cord. Portable collar crimp models, the collar crimp 1 and the ET1000, also use an air over a hydraulic pump or a hand operated pump. The T400 collar crimp 1, T420 collar crimp Super 1, and the new ET4000 are designed to mount to a special cabinet that stores the tooling and a supply of hose ends. The portable models are self-supporting. There are no gauges or dials to set, and calibration is not required. The operation and design are simple, but the results are assured every time when proper procedures are followed. Whether a stationary model or a portable unit, safe and proper mounting is always a priority. Never operate any collar crimp machine until it is properly secured. What truly sets each collar crimp model apart is its size. Not necessarily the size of the machine, but the minimum and maximum sizes of hose and hose ends which each unit will accommodate. If you're using the collar crimp for the first time, it's important to check the inside diameter of the hose you want to assemble. Make sure your collar crimp model has the capacity to crimp that size hose. Here's a quick review of the various collar crimp models. The latest and most impressive model in the collar crimp lineup is the ET4000, designed for high performance operations with capacities from 3 16 inch fiber braid through 2 inch six spiral hoses. The ET4000 is bench mounted and it's capable of handling all your crimping needs. Because of its weight, this model requires special handling and mounting. Consult the manual for specific instructions and follow the directions carefully. The newer midsize ET1000 is one of the most versatile machines, able to crimp a wide range of hose sizes and a number of power source options. It crimps U-series hoses in sizes one quarter inch through one and one quarter inch, Z-series hoses with the same dimensions and 430U hose series from 3 8 inch through 3 quarters inches. The T400 Collo Crimp 1 offers crimping capabilities ranging from 3 16 inch ID fiber braid through 1 and 3 8 inch ID one wire hose and 1 and 1 quarter inch ID two wire hose. The T400 cannot crimp 4 and 6 spiral hoses. The T420 Collo Crimp Super 1 
offers crimping capabilities ranging from 3 16 inch ID fiber braid through 1 and 1 quarter inch 6 spiral hose. For hoses other than 4 and 6 spiral, conversion tooling is required. See the Eaton Weatherhead Master Catalog for details. The portable models, the T460, T462, and the T465 are identical except for the type of power source. All are engineered to crimp 3 16 inch fiber braid hose through 1 and 1 quarter inch two wire hose. The T480 incorporates the size features of the T420 Collar Crimp Super 1 in a portable unit capable of crimping hoses from 3 16 inch to 1 and 1 quarter inch 4 and 6 spiral. All collar crimp models, when properly set up and operated, produce quality weatherhead hose assemblies quickly and easily. In addition to the actual collar crimp machines, Weatherhead offers a line of optional equipment, including a wide range of pumps, hose cutters, shop press tooling kits, and specialty saws. Collar crimp is a proprietary design to be used exclusively with Eaton Weatherhead hose and hose ends. The use of any other components other than Eaton Weatherhead will void the collar crimp warranty and may result in the production of an unsafe and unreliable hose assembly. Before you attempt to operate your new collar crimp machine, please view this entire video and read the setup and operating instructions booklet that was included with your particular system. It's imperative that you read the important safety information located in the front of the Eaton Weatherhead Hose Assembly Master Catalog. Also, pay special attention to these important safety guidelines. Always wear safety glasses. Be aware of loose-fitting clothing that can get caught in the equipment. And avoid wearing any jewelry when operating the machine. All machines have certain pinch points, particularly the press, the pusher, and of course the collets where the actual crimp is performed. Keep one hand on the hose being crimped and one hand on the handle or the toggle switch away from these pinch points. Now, before we make an actual hose assembly, let's review some basic procedures and offer some collar crimp tips. Start with the proper hose and hose end selection. Refer to the Eaton Weatherhead Crimp Specification Manual. Be sure that the hose and hose ends you select meet the specifications for the end use. In other words, are these components designed and approved for the type of application for which the hose assembly is being used? Always refer to the Eaton Weatherhead Hose Assembly Master Catalog for the proper Eaton Weatherhead series of hoses and hose ends. Please follow these basic steps, even if you have used collar crimp equipment before. The first step is measuring and then cutting the hose to the proper length. If you are not familiar with making hose assemblies, Follow all the standard recommended safety procedures for hose cutting. Be sure you allow for what is called the cutoff factor. Remember, the overall length of the hose includes the hose ends, and you must allow for this additional length before cutting the hose. The cutoff factors for hose ends are found in the Eaton Weatherhead Master Hose Assembly Catalog. Be sure the cut is both square and clean. Some hose ends require the hose to be skived before assembly. This involves the removal of the outer hose cover at both ends. Instructions for proper skiving are found in the Eaton Weatherhead Master Hose Assembly Catalog. A good skive looks like this, with the cover completely removed, yet the wire wrap is not damaged or disturbed in any way. Refer to the Eaton Weatherhead Crimp Specifications Manual to determine if an Eaton Weatherhead hose must be skived. Now we're ready to actually assemble the hose and hose end using the collar crimp machine. After the proper hose and hose ends have been selected, to ensure that the hose end will be fully inserted, mark the hose from the end to a length equal to the collar depth. Now insert the hose into the hose end up to that mark. Be sure that the end of the hose has bottomed out in the collar and has been inserted all the way. This is necessary to ensure a proper crimp. Next, refer to the crimp specification manual for the correct collets, spacer ring, and spacer ring position. Some hose types do not require the use of a spacer ring. Collet part numbers are stamped on the top of each collet half. Spacer rings are color-coded, 
and they are also stamped with a part number for easy identification. The proper weather head tooling must be selected for each model of press. Now, select the collet and spacer ring, if used, for this particular hose. For the first time, and periodically thereafter, lubricate the taper of the die ring or the base plate with Eaton Weatherhead's T400G grease. Open the pusher doors, if movable, and insert the collet in the die ring. If the die rings set on top of the base plate, slide the die ring forward so that it is accessible. Insert the first end of the assembly from the bottom through the collet so that the hose end is protruding from the top of the collet. On portable models, push on the slide rod to move the pusher back or remove it from the retainer plate so that the tooling can be inserted. This next step is very important. Align the top of the dimples, scribe line, or knurled band on the hose end with the top of the collet. Now, be sure the collets are properly seated in the die ring and are level with one another to ensure a good crimp. If a spacer ring is used, refer to the crimp specifications manual and position the spacer ring on top of the collet with the proper side up while holding the uncrimped hose in place. On the T440 and the ET4000, close the pusher halves by hand. On the T420, move the lever on the right side of the machine to close the pushers. When this handle is pulled down further, it activates the pump. On all other color crimp models, the pusher halves are fixed and need to be pulled forward or placed back on the retainer plate before activating the pump. If the die ring sets on the base plate and has been pulled forward, push it back against the alignment pins. To help avoid injury, remember to keep one hand on the hose assembly being crimped and one hand on the activating switch or lever. Now, activate the pump. The actual method differs with the model of collar crimp. The T420 uses the handle that closes the pusher halves. Other models use a toggle switch. The portable models, T460, T462, T465, and T480, generally use the hand pump with a control valve. The T480 is also available with the air over hydraulic turbo or 110 volt electric pump. Watch for the spacer ring and die ring or the pusher and die ring to make contact, which indicates that the crimp is complete. At this time, release the pump switch handle or control valve, allowing the pusher to retract. Move the pusher or open the pusher halves if the machine is so designed and remove the tooling and hose assembly. Visually inspect the crimp. Be sure that the crimp is located with 1 16th inch either above or below the crimp location mark. The one exception is for Z series fittings which require a crimp location within 1 32nd of an inch of the crimp location mark. If there is any deviation in this tolerance, do not use the hose assembly. Check the nominal crimp diameter using calipers or a point micrometer and compare the reading to the specification listed in the crimp specification manual. You should measure all four sets of flats and average your readings to obtain the nominal crimp diameter. Crimp tolerance is plus or minus six thousandths of an inch. Again, if there is any deviation in this tolerance, do not use the hose assembly. Be sure to measure in the middle of the crimped portion and only the flat surfaces of the crimped area. If an improper crimp is detected, double check to be sure you are using the correct hose, hose ends, and collets, and that the spacer ring, if required, was positioned properly. If the crimp is not to specifications, use a new weatherhead hose end to make a new assembly. Never reuse a hose end once it has been crimped. You will also need a new length of hose if the previous one was damaged or if it is too short for the application. This assembly procedure may now be repeated for the other hose end, following the identical steps. If there is a problem or you have any questions, consult the crimping procedures found in the equipment section of the Eaton Weatherhead Master Catalog. Refer to the helpline telephone number located on this video box or contact your Weatherhead supplier or representative. One final reminder, 
Safety should never be compromised under any circumstances. Be sure the unit is properly positioned before using and follow all the normal safety procedures when the machine is being operated. By following the proper setup and operating instructions, you can make dependable Eaton Weatherhead hose assemblies every time using the Collo Crimp system. Crimp with confidence. Connect with Eaton Weatherhead.